here at the NVIDIA booth at Mobile World Congress 2013, and uh, we have in front of us a Tegra 4 reference tablet, and so it uh, is an internal tablet that we use, uh, and we're going to just demo uh, Tegra 4. So Tegra 4 is a brand new processor we just uh, announced a couple months ago. It has a quad-core A15 uh, CPU uh, with an additional uh, companion core for low power usage. And then the GPU, the graphics processor, actually has uh, 72 graphics cores. So that's a, a six times increase over Tegra 3. So that lets us, uh, 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 you know, working with game developers, that lets the game developers really go crazy with the graphics. So a couple of the new games uh, that we're showing at Mobile World Congress. Uh, we've got uh, Carrie uh, Blood Mansion. And so this is like a, uh, uh, a game where uh, you have waves of uh, vampires coming through and you set traps and then try to you know, fend them off. So that, as you can see, we've got nice, very crisp, smooth graphics. Uh, we can set some traps. So we might put a trap over there and maybe one over here. And we'll put one on the ground, say there. Oh, I don't have enough money. So then we start. Um, so as you see, there's uh, physics on a lot of the objects. Um, we have some nice particle effects and a nice, really nice cartoony look uh, to this particular game. And as the, the bad guys come up to the traps, Oops, they can't get through. So that's one of the new games. Uh, this has uh, been put out by uh, a Korean developer called Neowis. And that'll be out, uh, you know, soon in the next few months. Uh, next we have uh, a real fun game called Burn Zombie Burn. And uh, again, this has uh, got a lot of Tegra 4 enhancements. Um, they put in a lot more um, enemies come and attack you. Uh, and also put in some, uh, some great sound effects, different weapons. Um, and this one's quite a fun one. It's got a, a very uh, humorous approach to zombie killing, uh, which is always a plus. So this is uh, the main character here. He's kind of a bit of a cool dude. They added uh, shadows. Uh, Tegra 4's GPU actually has what are called PCF, uh, PCF hardware shadows. And so they put them in. And then we get different weapons as we go along. And there are different, basically different challenges as you go around the map. Uh, so you have to go and uh, find different types of zombies. Some of them have like uh, special hats and they explode. Others have different little flying things. and. Uh, yeah, really uh, added some nice dynamic lighting in there, as you can see coming off the uh, muzzle flashes and things like this. Uh, and all this is being uh, animated in real time, and each, each zombie actually does different movements. And uh, we're getting a bit covered up here. So that's a good one. That's coming out soon as well. Um, that'll be out on... Uh, on, for all of Android, but obviously enhanced uh, on the Tegra platforms. The last one we're going to show you is called Zombie Driver, keeping with the zombie theme. This is by Xor Studios, and uh, it's kind of like if, uh, if some of your listeners might remember. Um, uh, what was it called? Carmageddon. It's kind of like that. So you, except you're trying to hit zombies rather than real people. So you get different types of cars or buses or uh, trucks, and uh, you have challenges and different, lots of different worlds. Uh, so for this, you can really see. This is just a reference shadow. You'll never see this. Here you can see. Uh, Again, um, real-time shadows being used, very high-quality texturing, and uh, a lot of effects on the textures. So you can see things like um, the pavement cracking and rust on the roof. Um, you get lots of little extra bonus uh, missiles or weapons as you go along. So that one's a really fun game, and. and 
we go.